Hey, welcome back. This is Mike from Digital Offensive and you're watching my path to OCP. Today is day 65 of my 90 days. That means I have 25 days left in the lab. And I want to make a quick video to cover a couple of key things here and uh, to do a, uh, a drawing. So a couple of months back, I put out a video that said once whoever helped me get to 1,000 subscribers, basically I would do a random giveaway. Uh, originally I said I'll give away the Red Team Field Manual, but everyone in the mom says they have it. So then I said I'll give away a $10 uh, e-gift card to Amazon. Well, a, a few days ago, we hit over 1,000 subscribers. Right now, I'm sitting about 1,020 subscribers, give or take. And what I did is, in that first video, I said, uh, share out this video and comment below that you shared it. Well, I'm not sure how many of you actually shared the video or not. There was like 700-something viewers of that. But out of the 700-something viewers, only about 10 people actually put their names or comment in below. Um, so if you share that video, thanks for sharing it. Um, unfortunately, I don't have your name to put you in this drawing. So maybe down the road, if I do another drawing, uh, make sure you comment in the video and I'll have your name to do that. Um, some people just don't follow directions sometimes, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so what I did is I also took some of the people that over on Twitter who I know constantly share my videos out and I put them in the list as well. So what I'm going to do here is we have about 14 people that shared out the videos. So what I'm going to do here is uh, 1 through 14. And uh, we're going to jump over to random.org. And uh, we'll basically generate a winner. So it looks like the winner is number 12. So according to this, number 12 is uh, Monk. So what I'll do is I'll contact Monk over on Twitter and um, let him know. And give him the option if he wants to pass that along or if he wants the $10 gift card. Either way, I will reach out to him and uh, give an update on that. Knowing that I only have 25 days left, let's jump over to some of the OCP stuff. So right now I have less than eight boxes in the public network that need to be finished compromised. Um, some of them probably need some additional research as far as like tie-ins to other ones. Um, there were some dependencies on others. I, I do still have master and slave, uh, went to the bigger ones there. Um, there's a few that have some information on, I'm still digging through to figure out where to go with it. Um, so I have a couple of goals as I went through this process and <clears throat> I made one of my goals uh, a couple nights back. Uh, one of my goals was not only to unlock the networks, the outside of the public range, but to actually get some machines compromised in those networks. So right now, in the IT network, I have two machines fully compromised, working on a third machine in there. Um, and I have two remaining goals left, uh, other than passing the OCP, of course. But two other main goals that keep me motivated each day is, one, complete all public network by the end of my lab time. And the second one is to unlock admin network so I have all the networks unlocked um, before my lab time expires. Um, with 25 days left, that's a lot to get done. Uh, it's not impossible, but I'm kind of hitting a roadblock where a lot of these machines are um, a little bit harder. Uh, I am missing something minor. I need to go back through my enumeration, double check things. Um, some of them have dependencies I might have missed. Even though I feel my post enumeration has been much better this time around, I may still be missing something minor here and there. <clears throat> so something I'll continue developing upon as I get through this. Uh, what else do I have for you guys today? As far as technology-wise, I don't really have a lot to go over with that. Uh, one thing I would definitely throw out there that's been very helpful to me, and a couple of people have mentioned this in the past, is around pivoting. And I want to make uh, a note on pivoting that's been very helpful uh, to me. Let me uh, open a new notepad here. Or a new note. <clears throat> so couple things that have been helpful um, is if I want to pivot from, let's say, the I, uh, from the public network into the IT network or from, from my Calibox into the IT network, um, and this is similar to Hack the Box here, like if you want to pivot there or something. So let's say there's a web application existing in a network range of 10 dot, uh, let's say, 192.168.1.2. Um, I'm, I have, uh, I'm the, I have already compromised 192.168.1.1, which is the gateway. And my machine sits on 10.11.2.5. Uh, dot, dot, uh, and this dot .2 two right here is running a web server. 
um, on port 80, right? So, and we'll say this gateway is Linux. What I can do here is, I can basically create an SSH connection, SSH-L. So basically I'm gonna create a local uh, listener. And I'm gonna say, I wanna listen on my local port 8080. Uh, the reason I use 80 is because I actually use um, Apache a lot or other tools listening on 80 to quickly drop my payloads on machines. So I don't want to use 80 because that's probably already me tied in and use. And I want to create uh, the listener to 192.168.1.2 on port 80, right? And then basically what we're going to do here is we're going to log into the 1.1. So let's say the account on 1.1 that we compromised. Uh, let's say the account name is evil at 192.168.1.1. Once we execute this command, this will connect to evil and create a local uh, tunnel on our local machine. So what we would do on our local machine to access the 1.2 is we would go to HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 uh, on port 8080. And what that does is actually for us um, through 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.2 port 80. So at that point, we can now access um, the web server that's running on 1.2. So that's a simple pivot, right? And something that's very useful throughout the OCP and hack the box. Now, let's say you compromised the Windows machine. Let's say that 1.1 wasn't Linux. Let's say it was uh, Windows. And there's a very great, great tool out there called P-Link, which is part of the PuTTY toolkit. Uh, you can download it off the PuTTY website. And plink is a command line tool you can dump on Windows and basically do almost exactly the same thing. It's a little bit different. And what I'll do is in the next video, I'll actually show you how to use plink to do a tunnel similar to this. Um, that's all for today. I actually have to run some errands, so I need to make this video short and get out. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, like the videos. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. And once again, thank you to all who have shared out this video or well, shared all my videos out to people. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. Without you, um, really the channel wouldn't exist. Uh, it, the motivation I get from everyone commenting, uh, new subscribers is great. It keeps me motivated, it keeps me focused. Uh, I try to share my information with others. If you see something or you want to know more about something, let me know. Comment below. I'm always looking for new content. Uh, with my OSCP journey hopefully coming to end in a few weeks, uh, I'm going to be looking for new content. Uh, if you saw earlier, I do have some notes up for the GX Pen. I'm building out my um, my my, uh, my list of stuff to go through for studying for that exam. Uh, so once I'm done with OCP, I'm going to be getting ready to sit down for the. <laughs> so once I'm done studying for the OCP, I'm going to be sitting down and studying for the GX Pen. Um, so stay tuned for some videos around buffer overflows, things like that. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Have a great day and congrats to my winners. Uh, thank you very much for sharing this out. Uh, much appreciated to all of you. Uh, 